Welcome back to episode 24. Uh, today we're going to talk about ways you can make more money. More money. Yeah, because you know, uh, before 1992, um, the only way really a recording artist with a record made money was with their deal with their record label. Uh, the uh, BMI, ASCAP, CSAC would collect royalties, pay them to the songwriters, the publishers, uh, the record companies would make money from selling the records, and then based on their deal with the artist, uh, the artist would make whatever royalty the record company gave to the artist. Mm -hmm. uh, in the 90s, Congress passed new laws understanding that we were headed towards a digital era and that there were uh, ways that artists were being ripped off that should be corrected. So there are two organizations we're going to talk about today that collect royalties and pay them directly to performers. That's right. You don't have to go through your record company. You don't have to worry about uh, all these other deals that you have. If you have your own independent song being sold on iTunes and somebody may be playing it on the radio, um, if you have a record deal, this still applies, even though you're also and already making royalties from your record label. This is another way for performers to earn royalties directly. It comes straight from two organizations, one called Sound Exchange and the other called AARC, which stands for the Alliance of Artists and Recording Companies. Uh, both of these are worth checking out online. They are free to sign up for, and they are nonprofit. So you're getting everything you're entitled to. Uh, we will start with Sound Exchange. Yeah. Let's and just, just to exchange. back up a little bit, because some people, this may be new to you in terms of uh, royalties and royalty payouts. So the first thing, most people know ASCAP, BMI, or CSAC. Check them out. It's either ASCAP.com, BMI.com, um, CSAC.com. But... Those royalties that are paid out are for performance, a live performance. So we're talking about concerts, we're talking about radio, television, kind of your standard idea of what people know as when their songs are being heard. But with our technological revolution, with tablets going crazy, smartphones, um, digital cable, and just even the government just saying you have to have a digital TV, even phones are going that way soon. So now the government, um, Library of Congress specifically, has given the, I'm going to give the official name, the Copyright Royalty Board has chosen what they, well, what we just mentioned, Sound Exchange, to basically handle royalties for uh, satellite radio, when your music is played on satellite radio, internet radio, um, anybody that has digital cable, they know that there's music channels, so those are also entitled to royalties. So Sound Exchange is paying out royalties when your music is played in those avenues outside of what you typically know from concerts or performance. And let's be clear, this has not been advertised well, and there is good money to be made, assuming you've got yourself uh, some music that is making money. But it doesn't hurt to sign up. If you are the performer on a record out there, you need to sign up. You need to check out their website. Uh, the other one is AARC. Not to be confused with AARP. Right, that's for us old folk. <laughs> but the AARC, we, again, Alliance of Artists and Recording Companies. Uh, go online, check them out. Um, they are a nonprofit organization that was formed to collect and distribute money be from home taping and private copy royalties and also rental royalties. The digital world has changed how we deal with things. In the, in the old days, uh, somebody may take a, a CD home and make a copy for their friend. Well, the point is, technically, that was money lost by the artist, money lost by the songwriter and the record company. So they created a pool of money uh, that is distributed for the fact that these things happen. Again, or it's free of charge to sign up for, but you have to have a legitimate right 
to get these royalties. So you need to check it out, fill out the forms. Um, just try to, it's both domestic and foreign. They handle other countries. Uh, ironically, it was other countries that was doing this that that were doing this before the United States. So we only caught up in the 1990s. But don't miss out on this. And they can go back. They can go back a lot of years. So if you get into this, you could earn a significant amount of money. That's all right. So just again, those are two ideas. Just something for you to research. And we wish you a lot of luck. Don't lose the dream. Don't remember, uh, at least in our humble opinion, the music's more important than the fame. Do your art and enjoy it. And just a reminder, it's soundexchange.com. And we were very brief and just explain, just so you're aware of the two organizations. But just check out the website. They have a, a nice little two and a half minute animated video that kind of explains the whole breakdown so we didn't go into too many details on percentages and all that but you can get those details on the website these people are, are nice people you can call them up and just ask them questions and they'll tell you all right have a and great day to, oh, oh yeah we, sorry my quick shout out i had to represent my two schools this no, week so right. shout out to the u and uh go terps but again in who we are i'm kevin Curtin, mitch weiss check out the website uh subscribe to this youtube channel so that you can continue to watch our videos and get notifications when we upload, share with your friends. Website is www.mwentgroup.com. And also the YouTube channel is MWENT Group. And Twitter is underscore MWEG. That's it. Till right. next time. Till next time.